A mother is faced with the decision to drop her one-year-old daughter from the third floor of a building, a burning building, into the arms of a good Samaritan. Brad is in Frankfurt, and Brad, you talked to that mom about what happened. We can only imagine what it takes to make that decision. Yeah, and that decision, Jason, had to be made in a matter of seconds. We can tell you the fire marshal just left the scene here a few minutes ago. The building behind me is quiet. We know that eight families are homeless tonight. This fire was actually under control in about 30 minutes, but not before some very high drama. I just looked out the window, and it was smoke coming from everywhere. Bria can suddenly in an unthinkable position. She and her daughter Harper, who turns one year old this weekend, trapped in thick, heavy smoke by her apartment window, three and a half floors up. What to do with her baby daughter? I'm just screaming because somebody catch my baby. And the guy, he ran up the block and was like, I'll catch her, I'll catch her. He was like, I promise I'll catch her. He caught her. They were among the 11 people who had to be rescued when the fire broke out here on the corner of Akron Street and Oxford Avenue. Meanwhile, another family was trapped four floors up. She said, my baby, my baby. I see the smoke start torching more so close to her, so I knew the fire was getting closer. And she said, I can't take this no more. And that scared me. That was this woman, Amy, and her three kids, ages one, three, and four. I'm panicking at the time just to get my kids together. Like, come on, we gotta get out and then buy in maybe two, three minutes, the whole entire hallway was engulfed with smoke. Just at that moment, firefighters arrived. There was heavy fire, second, third, and fourth floor. So they had to get hose lines on multiple floors. Then they had to, you know, search those floors at the same time, fight the fire in addition to bringing people down portable ladders. Amy and her children were helped down by ladder. Cause of the fire under investigation, but this woman living on the second floor says it was her accident. I was smoking a cigarette. I don't know if it fell on the floor or if, like, it fell out of the ashtray or what. All I seen was a pfft. She ran to get some water and... By the time I came back, it was hit my half my futon was a blaze. Witnesses say firefighters did a miraculous job containing the fire in just 30 minutes. That's how quickly it all went down. Tragedy averted. Everyone's okay, including Bria's one-year-old who was dropped and caught. She hit her head a little bit, but she's fine. She's conscious. She's playing. Yeah, that little girl was taken to the hospital along with a second person, but as you heard, they're both doing just fine. Jason, this could have been so much worse. Incredible story, and to, to hear from the person who may have started this and the mother, oh my goodness, Brad, thank you very much for that.